So the thing about gasifiers, actually, is they're both good and bad in the same way. I mean, there is so much freedom in order to build one of these things that you can make loads of decisions as you go along. And of course, that's great, but equally it can be an absolute pain because sometimes you just want to know how to do something. But gasifiers don't really lend themselves to that. Gasifiers lend themselves to invention. Now we know what the parts of the gasifier are. We've been going through it. We've been breaking it up into the separate parts you need to build, identifying those parts and then breaking those parts down into solutions that solve that particular problem. So for instance, the uh, vortex filter, cyclone filter that we made, there's a ton of bits and pieces you can use to do that. We used a fire extinguisher. You can use a cone, you can use a drum, you can use a propane tank, it's just a ton of things. As long as it comes in at an angle and the outlet pipe is below the inlet pipe. As long as you do that, it'll work as a cyclone filter. The same is true of the next stage particle filter. What we talked about was a box where we have a plate and then the gas comes in and it gets fed through a whole load of wood chips, stroke sawdust and then exits out. And I was looking for some kind of box, you know, the kind of thing like an ammo chest maybe, or, or a tool chest, or something like that. But I happened to be in the supermarket and I spotted this thing, which I thought was awesome. What it is actually is a vegetable steamer. And it's a great big stack of stainless steel with these little holes in it. So obviously all I have to do is fill this up with sawdust and the gas will permeate through the holes and it'll act like a filter. And I thought, well, that's awesome. It does mean that I need to put some silicon around here as a seal so the whole thing seals, but I can use ordinary silicon at this stage because the gas temperature isn't really going to exceed the um, sort of eight, 900 degrees centigrade that we needed to use the silicate sealant for. So we can use ordinary silicon in that, fill that with the, um, sawdust and we have ourselves a filter and of course I've got to fit it now when you do that then obviously you're looking at solutions for the way that you're doing your build now I have something in mind for what I'm building I want mine to be able to be broken down mostly for transportation There's gasifiers actually are fairly bulky things even a small one is fairly bulky and to a degree where you build it is going to be where it stays but I wanted mine to be able to be broken down into sections for ease of transportation and for setting it up in different locations. So that modular design where the modules fit together was a, an important issue for me. So an important thing that I've been trying to build into the design. The other thing is um, pipe work. People have asked me what I've been using for this, this pipe work. Well, um, Luke had a trampoline that he was breaking down and he donated the trampoline legs to me. So all this pipe work is um, our trampoline legs, which I think is really cool because they slot together, which is another really cool aspect of the design that I'm building. So what I did was take the bottom of the steamer, you can see here, and I've welded on a cross section with some holes in it because I'm going to bolt the whole thing together. I've drilled a hole in the bottom, so and that's my inlet pipe which is a bit of the trampoline leg. So that will go into my Vortex uh, Cyclone filter. This can fill with gas. This whole lot stacks on top. Top plate goes on and it bolts it down. And that's the actual thing finished. So let's get that into place. Okay, so that's the second particle filter in place. And you can see that this whole line is the filtration line. Cyclone filter, particle filter. Now there's a couple of things I'm actually after the design, like I say, I'm looking for modularity, I'm looking for it being able to break down. So this particle filter is held on by that single bolt and the point at which it rests on the cyclone filter and the cyclone filter is held by this pipe and this bracket here. So it's held on quite, held on quite firmly. Now obviously the next step of this is to do air cooling. So we need to pass that through a radiator to cool the gas by its interface with the air. So we're going to be making the air cooler next. Now that's on, the next bit is the air cooler. So what I've got available for the air cooler are these things, which are table legs, and this square stuff here. This square stock I'm actually getting from this. Remember we found a whole load of that. It's for uh, display stands. So we've got some tube of one, or a 25 by 50 millimeter square steel stock, which I've obviously cut the size and cleaned up. And I'm gonna drill some holes in here that take these table legs, slot the table legs in the holes, give it a weld, and then the top piece here. Now you'll notice the top piece is longer than the bottom piece. And that's because we're gonna drill a hole in here, blank off these two ends, and that drops on the particle filter. That pipe that was sticking out the particle filter, that drops onto that pipe. And then the gas comes down here, 
blocked here obviously has to come down the pipe leg uh, the uh, legs we'll block this end and that bit is where the gas will exit and so now it will exit cleaned and cooled so i need to cut those holes and drill those out weld them together and pop it on there which will be in the next video obviously so i hope you enjoyed this video and thank you very much for watching